Okay, uh, Nicoletta, so we're, to assess the thoracic spine, we're going to rule out the joints above and below. So that means the neck and the lumbar spine. So to do that, I'm going to get you to bring your chin to your chest. And is there any pain with that? No. Can I apply some overpressure? Yep. Okay. Okay, any pain with that? No. And could you bring your head into extension? So bring the chin up as much as you can. Any pain with that? No. And we're going to apply overpressure again. Any pain with that movement? No. No? Okay. And so now what we're going to do is rule up the lumbar. So to do that, I'm going to get you to reach down and touch your toes. Okay. Any pain? No. I'm going to apply some overpressure, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Any pain with that? No. And come back up. And could you actually bring uh, two fists and put rest of them on your hips and come back as far as you can? Any pain with that? No. Can I apply a little bit of overpressure? No. Okay. Any pain with that? No. Okay. And we've ruled out. Okay, let's look at your active range of motion. So could you cross your arms? And could you uh, reach down as much as you can? Okay, and come back. And could you lean back as much as you can? So this would be extension. And come back to resting position. And could you bring the shoulder down to the table, to your side? Okay, and come back to resting position. Do the same thing to the left side. So that would be lateral flexion. And come back to resting position. Rotation would be, uh, so rotating the right to the, to the right, first, okay, and come back, back, and same thing this way, so that would be left rotation. And so to measure, what we would do is actually find the bony landmarks, so could you bring your chin to your chest, and that would be C7, okay, and we would have the tape measure there, and come back to resting position. To find T12, what we would do is actually go across the iliac crest, the spinous process of L4, and we would slowly make our, make our way to T12. So this would be L3, L2, L1, and that would be T12, okay? So to measure, we would have it there, and at C7. So let's do the same movement. So could you reach down as much, much as you can? So from 35 to about 38, so about three centimeters, come back to the resting position and lean back as much as you can so from 35 until about 33, so that's two centimeters again. And so that would be flexion and extension. And so uh, lateral flexion to the right. So could you just move your hand a little bit? And this would be a chromium to the table, to the top of the table. So we go from 55. And again, so lean back this way as much as you can. So 55 to about 40. So that's 15 centimeters. And same thing to this side. So a chromium to the top of the table. Measure 52 and lean back as much this way. Okay, and it would be about the same, so 40. Okay, and when we look at rotation, we're going to do a chromium to the PSIS. So we would look at the PSIS first. And chromium, and so could you rotate towards the, the right, please? So from 52, we went to 57, so that's five centimeters, and come back to resting position. And we would do the same thing to the opposite side, so we would find the PSIS one more time. And a chromium, PSIS, so that would be 53, and could you rotate towards the left? Three, and that would be 58, so five centimeters of rotation to the left. So we're going to move on to a passive range of motion of your thoracic spine. So before we begin, I need your feet to be uh, flat on the ground. So are your feet flat? No. No? Okay, so we're just going to lower the table. So let me know when they're flat. Okay. All right, so to do that, I'm going to need you to link your fingers actually uh, at the back of your neck. Okay. And so we're going to move into uh, ex uh, flexion. So to do that, we're going to just stabilize just below the ribs. and passively bring her into flexion, so that would be a tissue stretch, and come back to resting position. And we're gonna do the same thing for extension, so stabilize just below the ribs and slowly bring them into extension. And that would also be a tissue stretch. Okay. So rotation, stabilize the same side, and you'd feel a tissue stretch. And stabilize opposite side, just below the ribs. Tissue stretch, and for lateral flexion, what you would do is actually same side and bring them towards you, okay? And stabilize the other side and bring them away, okay? Any pain with those? No. Okay.
Okay, Nicoletta, we're going to move on to the resist range of motion. So what that involves is me actually going into a bear hug position. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Okay. So to do that, I'm going to stabilize the hip here and wrap around this way. And so we're going to get you to move your uh, body forward. So push into me. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to do the same thing with extension. That was strong and painless. So to do that, what we're going to do is actually get, get you to push into my hand. And one, two, Five, and that was strong and painless as well. So now you can actually rotate this shoulder towards me. One, two, three, four, five. And rotate the shoulder towards, uh, away from me, sorry. One, two, three, four, five. Those were both strong uh, and painless. And finally, uh, lateral flexion. So bring the shoulder down towards the ground. One, two, three, four, five. And bring this shoulder down to the ground. One, two, three, four, five. Good, those were both strong and painless.